Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever Good Funeral Awards. Meet Charles Cowley, a funeral celebrant for the last seven years. He's also author of The Good Funeral Guide and a leading voice in the industry. Nobody knows anything about the funeral industry, and what they do know makes them think, ooh, we're not quite sure about these people, we think they're all a bit dodgy. So Charles has set up the first ever Good Funeral Awards to celebrate some of the great people who work in the business. Do you know, a funeral's a man's only chance to be centre of attention. <laughs> What you're hoping for. Meet award you nominee hoping Paul Sinclair no and his wife Marion. What are you hoping for? Do you know? Paul met Marion while serving as a minister in London. Like Marion's church was in Hampstead, very posh. Mine was in Woolsden, <laughs> other end of the spectrum. And the pastor and friend of mine he invited me to his house for a party, and Marion was singing. We met in the revolving door and we've been going round ever since. <laughs> when you've tried black, there ain't no going back. When you've tried white... Mm, it's all right. <laughs> and only a year after they first met, Paul and Marion were married. But the Sinclair household has not always been full of joy, as a serious motorbike accident nearly cost them their lives. Marion was behind me. When the car pulled out, Marion slid into me. The bone here snapped. This arm is now about an inch shorter than this arm. So being a Scotsman, I always keep my change in this pocket. And when people say, if you get any money, you say, yeah, but I can't reach. <laughs> After the accident, Paul had to give up his ministry. But he never lost his passion for motorcycles and received a second calling, converting bikes into hearses. I knew it was possible to put a coffin on a sidecar chassis, but what if it rained? So I decided I'd develop these. Basically, I went from hymns to hearse. Best alternative hearse is one of the categories at this year's awards. The most important thing about our bikes, I think, is the fact that someone can sit pillion and be beside the coffin. And there's no other hearse where you can sit beside the coffin. So you can actually sit there and be beside the deceased on their final ride. What makes Paul a winner is the fact that he's very passionate about what he does and the families that he serves. So yes, that's what really makes him a winner, I would say, yes. Someone else fast approaching Paul is Good Funeral Award judge Charles Cowley. He's on his way to assess Paul and his motorcycle hearses in action. Appearances count for a lot. So we'll also be looking at um, attention to detail. Um, all those fail-safe mechanisms that Paul has built in to make sure that if anything should go wrong, he can put it right very, very quickly. Morning, Paul. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> so, which is today's bike? Well, we've got a Triumph today. This one, and effectively this one today, yeah. uh, are backup. Mm. So if I have to phone and say, you know, we've had a broken window or whatever. Hopefully we'll get another bike out on time. It's wet and windy. Not ideal conditions to be riding a motorbike, let alone to a funeral. The uh, procession will be coming along the road here um, and um, it'll be followed by the, uh, the family cars. Um, and one of the things we'll be looking out for is to see how well Paul has managed to keep that procession together. Charles is keeping a respectful distance as he waits for the funeral procession to arrive. Paul was nominated because um, he is widely admired in the industry. He is a terrific warrior um, and with an absolutely obsessive desire to get it right. I sometimes actually feel a bit sorry for him because he suffers with his nerves, not that anybody would know it. He so desperately wants to get it right because he so desperately wants to be the best um, and because he so desperately wants to give people a wonderful experience of a funeral. Paul unquestionably wants to win. Um, Paul was pretty much faultless. I mean, say pretty much faultless. If I could think of a fault, um, I would name it, but actually, off the top of my head, I can't. 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever Good Funeral Awards. <laughs> The first ever Good Funeral Awards are well underway. Welcome to the Good Funeral Awards. We're almost ready to rumble. We now come to the category titled Best Alternative to a Hearse. And finally, who are the king or queens of the road? The winner is Motorcycle Funerals. quite humbled, actually. Uh, it's, it's kind of uh, shut me up a little bit. Well, I'm not an undertaker, I'm an overtaker. <laughs> Thank you very much. I've got my trophy and I'm far too psyched up to go to bed, so I think I will go for a ride on my bike.